Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to my super simple tutorial on a nice little mushroom base. This is for the brown mushroom. I like to build it in the dark oak biome. You can build it really wherever you want. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so getting started on your nice little simple mushroom house, you're going to need to find a brown mushroom like this. I've already broke the block, but I realized that I'm in creative and I can't actually get the block back. So you just have to keep that broken, uh, obviously. And you want to start off by putting a ladder like this on your mushroom stem. Now, I like the dark oak forest biome the best for these because I think they look beautiful and personally they're much easier to find than one of those mushroom biomes, but hey, I'm just one person, maybe you don't want to do that and that's fine. Next step is going to be on the corners of your little uh, mushroom right here. You're going to place them upside down stairs. Again, not too complicated, it's a pretty simple build to do, it shouldn't take too long. And then go ahead and just put an oak log on top of those and then go all the way around and do another one. You can do a little twirly do. Tiddly twirly do. I don't even know what to say for that, but you do a little twirly do like that. Perfecto. And then you want to start by building your uh, wall. So, like this. All you got to do is just build the upside down stair. Boom, boom, like that. It's pretty simple. It's not very complicated, but I, I could see how it'd be confusing to some people, and that's okay. That's why there's tutorial artists like me who just show you guys how to build things because we all get a little confused, but at least you can be a little less confused now with my uh, mushroom building technique. So uh, again, we're just coming around. <coughs> I felt like I just got gravel in my throat. Again, we're just coming around, we're building this entire little thing. Again, not complicated whatsoever. Now you wanna take some cobblestone slabs. I don't know why I grabbed the wrong one there. And all you gotta do is just build it like that. Again, it's just a little mushroom base. It's not even really a house, I guess just like a base. I call it, I mean, it would be technically a house because you do live in it, you, you dwell inside of it. But again, it's not very complicated structurally, but I mean, it looks really cool. Like, I mean, it just looks like a little mu mushroom castle thing. I don't, I don't even know. But now, the next step is going to be building your interior. So if you want to, you can do a uh, trapdoor like that. But uh, you shouldn't do that. You should actually put it on this wall. Because if you don't, then when you open the trapdoor, like, here. I'll just show you guys because you guys aren't going to believe me. If you put the trapdoor like that, right? Let's say you want to come up here. You open it. What? Oh, so now they fixed it. So now they fixed it. Really? Okay, well, apparently you can do that, so I guess go ahead and do that. Usually before, like, and normally you would you would crawl and you get caught on the trapdoor. Okay, whatever. All right, well, I'm going to grab all the materials I'm going to need for the inside of this build. I'm going to be right back. All right, here we go. Got everything you need. Uh, first things first, you might, might want to have, like, lighting in your build somewhere so you can actually see what what's going on, and that's always a good thing. Also, if you want to come down here on your ladder, if you want to, like, make it look a little bit lit, well, ma ma make your mushroom look lit, then you do that, and you just have some little, little lights down there, just so you can see, and you know, you, know, you don't get trapped down there at night and die. Um, you can do two beds in here if you wanted to, you could put a bookcase, <coughs> I don't know what's wrong, sorry guys, put a bookcase, not a bookcase, sorry, a crafting table, then a pot on top, and that looks nice. On this wall, you could do an ender chest, you could do a bunch of furnaces, like that. And then over here, you could just do some double storage like that. You could put another crafting table in the middle because you probably need a crafting table. Then over here, over, over here, yep, that's right. You can just have a nice little fancy bookcase. I don't really know. You can put something else over there. It does not really matter, but I'm just going to put a bunch of cool look, look, looking pots right there just to make it look nice. We'll do an Azure Blue It. We'll do uh, Oxide Daisy, and we'll do an Allium. So there we go. Do boop, boop. And there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a really simple tutorial, but I'm doing daily ones, so not everyone is going to be as extravagant and huge as, you know, like like this giant one over here. If you guys haven't seen this tutorial, this one is actually really, really cool. It's my uh, uh, Dark Oak Forest Treehouse tutorial. I actually show how to build this one right here. And they're actually really cool. Like, like they're not hard to build. But anyways, if you guys wanted, wanted to know how to build that mushroom house, I hope that helped. And I really thank you guys for all the support and everything. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more builds like this and much, much, much more, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, become part of the family. You'll get notified when all the uploads come out and you'll be one of the first to have a Neo Cubist build, which is exclusive, right? Not everyone can totally watch these for free on YouTube, you know. That's that's just totally not how it works. Uh, if you want to make that look better, you could just do it like that. And the way it has a little bit of like congruency with everything in there. Anyways, again, thank you guys for watching. If we could get a thousand likes on this super simple tutorial, I would be much appreciative. That would be super, super awesome. If you're curious about the texture pack, shader pack, anything like that, all the links are down below. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.